Mr. Chairman, I rise in strong opposition to this amendment. I was proud to work with our subcommittee and the chairman who put this language in the underlying bill, and I appreciate that, to champion this pro-life language which explicitly prohibits funding for research using tissue obtained from abortions. Section 528 of this bill is not only critical to protecting our nation's most vulnerable, but it is also an appropriate step in ensuring taxpayer dollars are not used to encourage the horrific practice of harvesting and trafficking the organs of unborn children. I was right here in this room the moment that we learned of the Planned Parenthood videos. I will never forget, ever, the horror of hearing officials discuss how to change abortion procedures in order to harvest organs and sell them. For all the spin of the abortion industry, you cannot unhear the casual, callous language used to describe killing babies in such a way that their tiny hearts, lungs, and livers could be preserved and sold for profit. This practice is an atrocity, and it is scientifically antiquated. More than 25 years ago, fetal tissue research advocates claimed funding for transplantation research would lead to cures for things like Parkinson's. However, that claim has not come to fruition. In fact, the National Institutes of Health has not funded such research since 2007, further explaining why this awful practice should not be allowed to continue. I believe Congress has both the authority and the duty to prohibit federal funding of fetal tissue research obtained from induced abortions. I strongly oppose any attempt to strip this language from the bill, and I urge my colleagues to join me in safeguarding the rights of the unborn. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, for including this, and I oppose this amendment. I yield back.